Welcome everyone to Living with the Times. This week's Torah portion is Parshat Bo, and it begins with Moshe going again to Pharaoh and telling him that the, if he doesn't let the people go, the next plague will be of locusts. And then an amazing thing happens that the advisors to Pharaoh say to him, how long are these people going to be a, a thorn in our side? Let the people go. Don't you see that Egypt is destroyed? This is the first and only time you see the servants of Pharaoh speaking out to him. And they're telling him, like, don't you see what's happening? The Torah is archetypal. The stories in the Torah, the personalities, they are archetypal energies which repeat themselves throughout history. And so here we see a classic example of scores of historical events where kings, dictators, tyrants, didn't see their empires crumbling around them. And they were just holding on for dear life, uh, ego-centric maniacs, and they couldn't see that everything was falling apart and their end was coming, and they're holding on for dear life. We saw it with uh, the madman of the Nazi regime who was sequestered in his bunker as quite literally Germany was being destroyed. Berlin was, in, in, was crumbling and he was sequestered in his bunker. When Saddam Hussein was actually found he was literally in a hole in the ground trying to hide out. We see also uh, the famous expression that, that Nero was fiddling while Rome was burning. And in the book of Daniel, we have the story of uh, Belshazzar who and this is where we get the expression from, he literally could not read the writing on the wall. And he was killed right after that. And so right now we see it happening again. The leadership of Hamas in Aza, they're hiding somewhere in a tunnel underground and they are oblivious to the fact that Aza is, is being destroyed. They're, the people that they supposedly represent are in, 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 it's in, in, in shatters, all of Aza, and they're totally oblivious to this. And so we see how the Torah, the stories in the Torah are are so archetypal and that these uh, energies repeat themselves. And so right now we see also that really Hamas is being destroyed, Aza is being destroyed, and they brought this down on themselves. They co really couldn't care less about the civilians in Aza. And they are hiding somewhere in a tunnel. We are hoping that very, very soon we will be able to free the hostages and end this cruel, horrible leadership called Hamas. And hopefully there will be a new and brighter future for everyone, not only in the Middle East, but when we can finally put an end to the uh, reign of terror of the last, really, generation, then 
God willing, we will know better days. And just like in the Torah portion, we're about to go out of Egypt. Right now also, we are hoping, we are praying, and our soldiers are doing their best to liberate Israel from this terrible scourge of terrorism and also free the people of Aza from the horrible dilemma that Hamas has brought down in them. May we see it very, very quickly.